Welcome everyone, in today's video we're going through part 3 of my Delta Neutral Yield Farming Strategy series that I'm doing on this channel. If you haven't seen the other two parts, I highly recommend that you do so because it will get you up to speed with what I'm doing and what I'm looking to achieve. So if you're not familiar with Delta Neutral Yield Farming, essentially it allows you to take advantage of the yields that you get through farming, but without taking any of the price risk. So for example, Say you were leveraged yield farming this EFUSDC pair on Francium. If you go on the calculator, you can see how much money you could theoretically make. So by the end of 30 days, assuming that the price of Ethereum doesn't move, you've made 20% return. And if the price of Ethereum continues to go up since when you started farming, then you've made you know really good gains because you've got leveraged long exposure to Ethereum. However, if the price of Ethereum falls 44% in the 30 days of which you started that position, then you're liquidated, you've lost all your money. So, how can we farm this EFIOS DC pair without having any price exposure to Ethereum? Because it's quite hard to predict where the markets will go. Even in a raging bull market, um, you can often get you know, 20, 30, 35% dips within a week. And if that happens, then you can get liquidated, especially when you start yield farming assets that have recently IDO'd or meme coins. <laughs> when you yield farm those, then your risk of getting liquidated, you know, exponentially rises. But with Ethereum, it's not as high. But I'll show you today how to yield farm this EFUSDC pair without really worrying too much about where the price will go. So if you go into Francium and then you go onto farming strategies, they have pre built pseudo delta neutral uh, yield farming strategies here for you. So all you would need to do is click on it, deposit money, and then you can start earning that 66% APR that they advertise. So they've got this strategy running on Radium and Orca. So I'll walk you through the strategy. Um, if we click on docs, this will take us to um, exactly how they do it. So the strategy takes a long and a short position in an asset simultaneously to minimize the effect on your portfolio when the asset price moves. So Ethereum could go up, down or sideways, doesn't really matter. The value of your portfolio would stay the same. Uh, it means that you'd have a, a delta of zero or near zero. So how's it done? So let's take, for example, uh, so in this example, you have 400 USDC to put into this uh, strategy. So you deposit 100 USDC and you would leverage yield farm the ETH USDC pair with 3x leverage and you'd be borrowing USDC to, to do so. So you've borrowed 200 USDC and the total position value is now $300. And since it's a 50-50 position when you're yield farming, you have $150 worth of ETH and $150 worth of USDC. So effectively you have $150 worth of ETH long exposure. Now the second step here is to take the remaining $300 and then leverage yield farm the EFUSDC pair at 3x leverage, but now you're borrowing Ethereum to do so. So in this example, you've deposited 300 USDC and then you've borrowed $600 worth of equivalent ETH. The total position is now worth $900. And since it's a 50-50 setting, like I said before, you can take the uh, $600 worth of ETH that you borrowed and then minus it by the $450 worth of USDC in this pair. And now you have $150 worth of ETH short exposure. So if I just explain it here on the snipping tool. So $400 worth of USDC initially. You take 100, leverage yield farm, but you're borrowing USDC. And that gives you $150 worth of ETH long exposure. And with the remaining $300, you do the leverage yield farm again, but now you're borrowing ETH to do so. And that gives you $150 worth of ETH short exposure. When you net those out in your portfolio, you get um, zero price exposure to Ethereum. So if ETH goes up, down or sideways, doesn't matter, your portfolio is going to stay stable. However, you're also farming that 66% yield as well. So what is the risk in this uh, delta neutral strategy? Well, there is a 10% maximum drawdown when you open a neutral strategy on Francium. So according to this illustration up here, this is the uh, profit simulation calculator. Um, 
if the price of ETH varies sharply, for example, rises above 60% or drops below 50%, your position will be at a loss. And the most you will lose is a maximum of like 10%. So if you deposited $400, you could only ever lose $40, which is quite nice. So should you consider the neutral strategy? If you're risk averse, but you still want to participate in farming, this strategy might be considered. And if token prices increase significantly over the next few months, the neutral strategy may not increase in value as much as leveraged yield farming. So just keep that in mind because you are essentially taking out the um, downside risk of farming, you're also going to take out the upside risk of farming as well. So you're not going to make anywhere near as much money um, in a bull market if you employ this strategy. But we've been in a bull market for quite a while and you never know if a, if a bear market you know happens next week and uh, you know prices start fluctuating a lot or if we start going sideways then this uh, pseudo delta neutral hedging strategy is going to work out quite well. Unfortunately, both of these strategies have currently reached their cap, so you can't actually do this through Francium. So if you wanted to do this yourself, I'll show you how. So you just go to farm, and we'll look for uh, wormhole ETH USDC. So here it is. So I press farm. So I'm just gonna do this with $40 to just show you guys how to do it. So let's just do 10 USDC, 3X leverage, Asset to borrow as USDC, and we'll press farm. And I'll press approve. So what's nice about Francium is that it will uh, take into account all of the farming positions that you have on a particular pair. So you can easily set up this strategy. And I'll do the same. But now it's going to be 30 USDC, and I'm going to be borrowing um, ETH to do this. So it's still at 3x leverage. And I'll press approve. So it's just still opening the position. But once it's done, the total position number should change. There we go. It's now $119, and my equity value is $39.92. Um, so if I click on position details here, this will give me a profit calculator. So if I change this all the way to, let's just say 90 days, it's a good number. So at the end of 90 days, assuming that the price of Ethereum um, doesn't go anywhere, I've made 17%. And as you can see here, if the price of Ethereum continues to go up, then uh, the PL isn't going to be that good. The price of Ethereum continues to go down. Um, and as you can see here, uh, my liquidation price has gone all the way down to 96% which is really cool. So this strategy isn't truly delta neutral. You will be exposed to the price risk a bit, but it's quite nice the way that it works. And if you're a more conservative person and you want to get into yield farming, but um, you don't want to really deal with potentially getting liquidated, then this might be a strategy for you. So I'll quickly show you guys how to um, get out of this. You just need to press withdraw. And I just want to take it all out in USDC. So I'm going to press that here. And I'll press withdraw. I press this this should disappear and there we go got my money back so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one